And now, the benefits of lavender tea. Lavender tea has a long history of medicinal use. The ancient Greeks and Romans would take lavender baths, which essentially is a bathtub full of tea, right? <coughs> okay. They would use it for sore throats, indigestion, and even as an insect repellent. Now besides lavender tea, lavender was mixed into a variety of strange concoctions. According to German nun Hildegard of Bingen, lavender water is a decoction of vodka, gin, or brandy mixed with lavender. And it's great for migraine headaches. I'm pretty sure I'd forget about my headache too with all that alcohol. Yeah, but I'd probably remember it again the next morning. Back in the day of Henry VIII, they mixed lavender with beeswax to make furniture polish and also wash their clothes with it. People even mixed lavender with charcoal to clean their teeth. Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria were both very fond of lavender tea. As well as lavender everything, really. And if it's good enough for the monarchs, it's gotta be good enough for us, right? Well, in this case, you bet your sweet pippy it is! Studies suggest that the compounds in lavender may stimulate activity in certain areas of the brain and influence the transmission of impulses between brain cells in ways that it can help with anxiety, stress, and depression. And this has a lot to do with the calming and relaxing effect lavender tea produces. According to the University of Maryland Medical Center, inhaling lavender can actually slow nervous system activity and promote relaxation. One study in 80 new mothers in Taiwan found that those who drank one cup of lavender tea per day for two weeks while taking time to appreciate the tea's aroma reported less fatigue and depression compared to those who didn't smell and drink the tea. They also noticed improved bonding with their infants. Now the only knock on this was they said that after four weeks there were similar reports in fatigue and depression using the lavender tea, indicating that the effects of lavender tea is more immediate and not so long term. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, who cares about all that research? I'm relaxed already, aren't you? Well, you would be if you had some of this. And while the research is currently limited, there is some research existing that shows how lavender tea can also help with specific problems like panic attacks and agitation. Now this is certainly one of the best known benefits of lavender tea. As people have used lavender tea as a sleep aid for many centuries now, if not millennia. Now part of the reason lavender tea helps to improve people's sleep is because it contains nutrients like zinc, potassium, and magnesium. According to multiple scientific studies, lavender tea helps to calm brain functions by triggering chemical reactions in the nervous system. Lavender tea boosts the production of dopamine and reduces the stress hormone cortisol. And one study found that lavender increases the percentage of deep, slow-wave sleep. There are also numerous studies that show how lavender not only is a great sedative to help with sleep and insomnia, but subjects have also shown an improved level of alertness when waking up in the morning. While well, research is limited on lavender tea directly, other research on lavender definitely indicates that lavender tea can help with both menstrual pain and cramping. Specifically, one study of 200 young adult women in Iran found that smelling lavender for 30 minutes per day in the first three days of a menstrual cycle led to significantly less painful cramping after two months. Now again, there is much more research on lavender oil when it comes to its benefits on skin. But because of its antimicrobial benefits, there is evidence that shows lavender tea can help with various skin problems such as blemishes, acne, and eczema. Though you might want to look into lavender oil as it might work a little bit better for you. Just saying. Oh. Oh god, give me a second. My stomach's getting all kinda... Oh god, excuse me. Some studies suggest that lavender tea can help with digestive issues such as vomiting, nausea, intestinal gas, upset stomach, and even abdominal swelling. Oh, Whew. I'm good now. Thanks, lavender tea. You're my friend. Like most herbs in the mint family, lavender tea has incredible compounds in it that can help lower your cholesterol levels. And with its anticoagulant abilities, it can even help your blood to stay happy and healthy. Lavender tea is also a gladiator against respiratory problems. 
Its anti-inflammatory properties help to smooth inflamed muscles in your throat and chest so that you can breathe easier. And its antibacterial properties help to fend off problems with colds and congestion. A research team from Okayama University also concluded that lavender would be useful as an alternative medicine for bronchial asthma. A 2015 study revealed that lavender does indeed have antifungal properties. But there isn't any research to back up this general observation just yet. Studies show that lavender tea can also help fight pain and help with various problems like troublesome toothaches, sprains, arthritis pain, and even symptoms of certain joint disorders. Lavender can also calm your nervous system and slow down your cardiovascular system to release those pesky constricted blood vessels that are causing headaches and migraines up in your noggin. Ah, what the heck? Ah! Let's help you out with those muscle spasms, shall we? A study found that when given a small dose of lavender, muscle spasms and convulsions were reduced thanks to lavender's ability to block the calcium channel response for muscle contractions. Here are some other fun benefits and uses. Lavender can help kill lice, nymphs, and nits. Wait, it kills nymphs? That's horrible! No, 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 no. Insect nymphs. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Mosquitoes don't like the smell of lavender too, so you can make a natural insect repellent from lavender tea. Pretty cool, right? Lavender is on the FDA's generally recognized as safe list. Hooray! Of course, like most everything, if you overindulge, you can have some side effects like nausea, skin irritation, vomiting, and increased sun sensitivity. Ouch. Now, pregnant women should also be very careful when drinking lavender tea due to its estrogenic effects. So either practice moderation or just consult your physician before having lavender tea when you're breastfeeding or pregnant. As lavender tea can help cholesterol and blood flow, individuals taking low cholesterol medication and blood thinning drugs should consult their physician before drinking lavender tea. Lavender has also been associated with gynecomastia, the abnormal growth of breast tissue in prepubescent males. So experts recommend limiting lavender tea consumption for males who haven't undergone puberty. And just for those who need to have it hammered home, if you are allergic to lavender at all, you're gonna be allergic to lavender tea. So just avoid it like you would any other lavender product. Capiche? Have you experienced any of the wonderful benefits of lavender tea? Please let me know in that towel section down below. And if you like this video, then you should watch the benefits of rose tea or the benefits of lemon peel next. Please. Be kind, take care of each other, and if you're feeling just a little bit tense, because honestly in this crazy year, I mean, who isn't a little bit? Go and enjoy yourself some wonderfully relaxing lavender tea.